Hey boy, it's the end of a busy day. Oscar made some new friends today, including an Irish wolfhound. Ellie has a fig tree planted. Almost. Arthur has it almost filled in. But now it's time to have a beer. Yes, because life at Goosebump Cottage is not only work, it is also chill, relax, and enjoying life. Hello and welcome to Goosebump Cottage. It is a wonderful winter's day and we're out and about. We have, I think, about two or three hours left of daylight. There's a bit of sun and there's Arthur and Oscar. So, Arthur, what are you doing here? Would you care to explain to us? <laughs> sure. So, along here was covered in willows, old willow trees. Most of which apparently were there for about 60 years. But they were very rotten and they were falling over into the, the neighbor's garden. So we just cut them down and cleared them up. And there was also a, a white a white thorn hedge-ish, but it was also very overgrown and very tall. And we've cut them back down to the ground uh, so they'll regenerate and come up and create a thicker hedge at the bottom. And we're going to put in another 50 white thorn and 50 black thorn to thicken it out. And that should create a nice space for the birds. And last week, myself and one of the neighbours, we cut some of the white thorns. Because some of them are suitable for walking sticks. So we're going to make some walking sticks out of them. These two are pretty big ones. But when they're trimmed down, be a nice handle on that. We'll make it a bit shorter, obviously. Same with this one. It's also going to be quite a thick one. But we'll trim it down again as well. There are loads, and I think there's probably 40 or 50 possibly. So we've got some in the garage already drying. We're going to get more of them, and we're going to leave those there. And then on Monday or Tuesday, hopefully our digger friend is coming. He's going to excavate the back, and they're also bringing a wood chipper with them. We're going to turn this all into a lovely wood chip for our garden paths, because we're going to get our greenhouse set up, and then we can start planting our veggies and the wood chip's going to go all around it. So that's the plan. We have a lot of wood chip to do. <laughs> so while Arthur is doing this, I am going to finally plant my fig tree. So we got this fig tree a present from our neighbors. They already have a fig tree, a mature fig tree of their own who produ that produces figs. And this is something very big for Ireland because fig trees are, you know, very easy trees somewhere in the south of Europe. But over here in Ireland, in this climate, to actually have a fig tree that produces figs, um, it, there's the, it's a, it's not as easy. It's pretty rare. It, it is pretty rare. So I've done my research. There's not a lot out there on YouTube. So that's why I've decided to make this video. Uh, I've never tried it. So you have to stay tuned. I'm going to show you a year or two years from now. However, the method that I'm going to use has been uh, tried and tested by our neighbors who, as I said before, they actually have a fig tree that produces figs. So the secret, it seems, is to have the roots contained. So you need to plant it in a very sheltered place and a very sunny place. And <laughs> the best uh, place that I could find in our garden, as in it's the most sheltered that it can be, in this weather, it's over there in the corner. So, I have already produced the base of it. As, as you can see, it's a very, very big hole and I need to go deep into the ground. And after that, I need to contain the roots somehow. So put stones, pebbles, something, such that the tree kind of believes that uh, that's all the space it has and then it produce it, it focuses its energy into producing the fruit instead of growing into this big massive tree 
and it also needs sun and this is this is prime location in our garden okay so i'm going to start digging now and then i'm going to show you the next step Okay, this is interesting. Uh, five minutes earlier while I was digging through the gravel, I found this, which is, can you want to film it close? Which is a spent shotgun, car shotgun, shotgun cartridge. cartridge. So we didn't think much of it, although even this, like if you think of the history, like how the hell did it get here in this corner of the garden, about half a meter under the ground. And I kept digging anyway. And I found this. Oh, there's a dead animal. It's a bone. Oh, so something's buried there. Something's buried there. Mm. So I think at this point I'm going to stop digging. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think this is enough to plant the fig tree. And also, this place is full of gravel, which means that just by the stone that it's here the roots of the tree will probably be contained however we're, we are we are going to put some more stuff around it at least at least on the sides um that side over there it's already contained because it's all stone it's the old wall so we just have three other sides to to contain and then going down it's full of, dro of gravel so i think that's going to be fine the way it is so um yeah, I'm digging cartridges and dead animals in this Irish cottage. And here comes the inspector. And here comes the inspector. And you know what? He's probably sniffing something now. There you go. He's interested. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you think this is a good time to stop digging? Okay. So my job is to get the tree, which is really nice not so let me explain what i'm doing here uh we used some roof slates thank you we used some roof roof slates that uh, we just found lying around the garden this thing here it's cast iron i don't know what the hell it is but uh, it's going in as well um, why not I think you need to get this bit of slate down lower because if you look at the level of the ground there it's going to be protruding quite a lot above the ground isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe I can put it in a bit lower. Maybe I can hammer it down with a stone actually. Yeah, it won't hammer it, it'll snap. Would it? Yeah, you'll have to, you'll have to just make it a little bit of a trench. Oh, great. Um, okay, I'll do that. And after that I'm going to do a bit of a mound here in the middle because the tree is not that deep. Uh, and then we're just going to put everything back on with the fig tree in and then pray to the fig gods to give us figs which Arthur doesn't really like I love but he doesn't okay okay will it come out easily No, because it's one of these lovely shapes, which means it's wider here than here. I have to make a note of Arthur's new yellow gloves. Aren't they cool? <laughs> Arthur's yellow gloves are good quality leather for dealing with white thorn bushes that have been spiking my hands for weeks. But I think it's also pretty obvious that they're at least one size bigger than they should be. <laughs> He's saying I've got small hands. You do have small hands. <laughs> it's rude to point it out. Why? Small hands, it's a good thing. <laughs> You have small, delicate hands. 
but after a year in this cottage, uh, that will be gone. <laughs> And this is how to pull a fig tree out of the pot. Me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Maybe a small garden shovel would do the trick. Or a teaspoon. You never know what you're going to find in this garden. Where'd my spoon go? You know what? I think this teaspoon isn't up to the job. <laughs> I think we would have been better off with a dessert spoon. <laughs> if only they'd buried a dessert spoon in the garden. <laughs> it is on its pedestal! <laughs> the fig tree, it's on its pedestal. And now it is time to dig up or cover up the hole. Okay, I have reached the end of my strength and normally I would just leave it for tomorrow because the tree wouldn't go anywhere until tomorrow. However, tomorrow my friend is coming over. I have our first visitors at Guthbaum Cottage. So I'm going to be busy with her for the next two, three days. So my dear husband, Mr. Arthur has very kindly offered to stop what he is doing and take over the job for me, which is fantastic. Thank you very much, Arthur. The fig tree that you don't even like will be very grateful and will produce figs especially for you. Nothing, huh? <laughs> Not even. Not even a whatever. Okay. Whatever. Well, you do remember what was the plant that you used to hate until we started planting it ourselves and then you started to like it very much so. Kale? That was one. But you didn't hate kale with a passion. There was one that you used to hate with a passion. Was it? Yes. Hello? Rocket. Oh, rocket. rocket. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. For our American friends, that's arugula. Oh, they call something different, do they? Yes. Not. Yeah. Arugula. Arugula. <coughs> oh, there's an awful lot of midges here. The midges are out. Oh, I just swallowed one. Protein. The midges are really out. <laughs> Oh, it's coming to the end of another busy day at Goosebump Cottage. <laughs> Lots of things done today. <laughs> I'm adding to the um, ever growing pile. A lot of the willow trees were actually very rotten at the bottom and um, I suppose you'd say they were dangerous but they weren't really big enough to be dangerous but they had fallen into the neighbour's garden were making a mess so got all those cleaned up well as far as there anyway and then the neighbour came in and we cut some uh, white corn sticks for walking sticks so a lot of what you see here 
is the white pine. And some of this is going to make some really nice walking sticks. Like if you see this bit here, you'll be able to get a nice handle from there. The corns are vicious though. And there's a few more pieces here. That'd be a nice handle there as well. Oh, and there's a good one here actually. So this one is nice and straight. And there's a large enough knob there at the end to make a nice handle. And this one, eh, no, it's, it's a bit damaged by the saw, so we can't use that one. But there are plenty more, and there's plenty more in here. In fact, John was quite excited about it. Uh, I'll just show you what they look like when they're actually growing in the hedge. So, you see here, you get a nice one out of that. Yeah. I think that one's a bit split. But there's some more here. And there's, there are plenty more in here. But it's about cutting out the willow and the briars. So, yeah, it's very destructive, there's no doubt about that. And it's, it's creating an enormous mess. But the good news is we have uh, new blackthorn and whitethorn bushes that are going to arrive during the week. So, I don't know, maybe next weekend I'll be able to get start getting them in. And, or maybe not, because, well, soon anyway. <laughs> There's plenty more to come. Uh, we've also ordered some oak trees. They're going to arrive as well. And some birch trees, uh, which I'm looking forward to. Because we're going to create a bit of a forest at the other end of the garden. Oh, and we have another pear tree coming and a cooking ankle tree. So it's been a, a busy day, but it's been nice because most of it's outside. And it's always good to be outside. Oh, here we go. This is a good bit here. So this bit here, this is going to make a lovely walking stick. You can already see the handle shape there. So, a little bit of imagination, a little bit of patience, and we'll get a lovely stick out of that. Um, yeah, I think that's really nice. <laughs> I did make an enormous one, like a Gandalf type one, that's currently in the garage. So hopefully this time next year, <laughs> I'll be sitting in the house, I won't say smoking a pipe because I don't have a pipe. Um, making walking sticks. <laughs> Hopefully on Tuesday, all of this pile of branches will be gone. It'll be a very, very long day, but it'll be worth it. And then we'll be able to sit here and enjoy the view. But of course, it also means that these trees here and here need to go. Just one more job. Put it on the list, Ellie. The list. Thankfully, we don't actually have a list. I think if we did, it might be pages long. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And if you like our content, and if you want to see more of it, please do like and subscribe. Unless you're already subscribed, in which case you don't need to subscribe again. Just like. Just like. <laughs> or watch. Oh, and send us some comments. We like the comments. <laughs> Have a great weekend. <laughs>